Hey everyone, this is Blackbinder, and welcome back to the Let's Play of Tales of Majael with the Cultist of Entropy. Now, if you last my, watch my last video, you'll see that I died in the Elven Ruins, but we are back now. We've done, I've done everything that we've done before, minus the Bearscape. There was no Bearscape in this one, so uh, I don't know why I'm level 45, but I'm higher level than I was before. I'm pretty sure I was only level 43 when I came in here last time, but... Do I have all his dust ready? I don't. So I need to get a level in this one before we go up to the uh, mummy lord. Because remember, we need to make room so he can't just ice us in the entire time. But yeah, it's I'm, I've had probably a total of four, maybe five hours on this guy. So not it didn't take me too long. I just played it today to get me back up to where I was. Go throw something in his way. Then frenzy. Oh yeah, I did want to go over my build changes. I did change the build just a little bit. I'm gonna dissipate that guy. He's just an alchemist. But his base the base um demon dude is good with fire, so I wanted to get rid of his fire sustains. Alright. Builds. What I did with my build was I did not get cauterized because I feel like if I'm playing right, that shouldn't be doing anything. So I got Ethereal Form. You gain 25% absolute damage resistance and 25% all damage penetration. Um, and then I also get some defense, which is fine for little hits. I'll dodge some of the trash mobs. But um, then what else? I was going to go for Armor of Shadows, which, which would have been good. You know how to protect yourself with the deepest shadows. As long as you stand on an unlit tile, you gain 30 armor, 50% armor hardiness, and 20% evasion. Anytime you deal darkness damage, you will unlight both the target tile and yours. Passively increase your stealth rating by 30, and the armor bonus scales with your constitution. Now, 30 or constitution. It's not... It doesn't go up from 30. It's just... 30 is the lowest it'll be. Um, and then I got Adept which your talent masteries are increased by 0.3. I went over this quite a bit, and it gives me quite a bit of damage, but it also increases my damage reduction abilities. So I think that's the right way to go with the cultist, because every single one of his trees takes advantage of having a higher mastery um, decently enough to where it adds up to quite a big bonus. And then I also have, I also have a mastery necklace on for entropy, so my entropy... Uh, mastery is at 1.93, which is pretty cool. Um, so I did go 5-5 five, five and all of Entropy because I wanted to... I have to use Entropic Gift to get rid of my Entropy anyway, and I'm going to be using Power Overwhelming, so I'm going to have a lot of Entropy, so I just figured I would just go all in on it. So with Reverse Entropy, um, 5 out of 5, and at 1.93 mastery, I take 80% less damage from my backlash, which uh, is pretty nice. But I did still go to Chronophage. I had no other place to put it. I don't know, I wasn't... And Rift, you really kind of... You have to take a lot of points in it, and I'm not going to have enough points to go 5 for all my skills in there. So I just went with Chronophage again. But yeah, we are in the Elven Ruins once again, and this time... I'm not going to die to that damn mummy. It's a rematch of the century. Wait, where'd that guy go? There was a snake down here. There he is. And also, I didn't get the spell blade. Apparently, the spell blade is not a new item. I've just never seen it before because of how rare it is. So I do not have that, which is a big ouch. But overall, my gear is much better. Let's go in and look at this real quick. I, I looked at this before, and it's pretty crazy. Damage penetration, darkness 70%, temporal 70%, and then I've got 107% more temporal damage and 117% more darkness damage. It's just, it's pretty crazy. And I've also got 90 spell power too. And that's not even, I get, well, actually it is. I've got a uh, staff that gives me more spell power on crits. What does this stack up to? Three times, plus 12 at three times. So that's really useful too. All right, I'm going to... Crap, I can't dissipate him yet. Dissipate him so he can't summon any skeletons. But yeah, my frenzy 
my Frenzy and Cacophony and Dark Whispers combo, it does about 1,200 to 1,300 damage after I get it off per turn in a huge AoE. So, yeah, I if I had the spell blowed with me, I'd be I would not I wouldn't have to build damage anymore whatsoever. It just does a ton. All right, leveled up. Let's take all his dust one point, and we'll clear out the next level a little bit before we move on. I need 50 for this, and I've got I've got a necklace with 10 constitution, so I can use that for my next thick skin. Uh, I I did get two and heavy armor training. I didn't I didn't realize spellblade was so rare. I thought it was just part of 1.6, so I figured I'd had a good I'd have a good chance of getting it again. So I just went two out of five anyway to be able to wear shields, and then I raised my strength a little bit too. To uh, um, I just raised constitution because I don't need anything else really. Should have I should have gone dexterity, but that's fine. Um, yeah, I should have uh, looked up how rare it was because I'm probably not gonna. I have a bunch of shields saved too, <laughs> but there's no way I'm gonna be able to. I'm probably not gonna get spellblade. And this run was so much easier than the last one. Like I didn't have any troubles whatsoever in the Vor Armory or anything like that. I might have just gotten lucky with my resist on my gear. Let's throw this there, and do we need to? No, it's just Chaos Orb, so I'm not gonna bother dispelling him. All right, here we go. Where's the damn Greater Mummy? I am wearing the Temporal Augmentation Robe because it was it's the best that I have access to right now. My necklace is the one with mastery on it, but other than that, it's just got 21. It's it's mostly a damage necklace, so if I do need to get rid of this for something else, I may. But it's got 30 spell power and 21% darkness damage, so it'd have to be a ton of resistances for me to change it. But it is it is one thing that I can change. Fire Dragon Shield. 30% chance that you'll breathe fire in a cone at the attacker if within range 6. This can only occur up to 4 times per turn. Uh, no. The shields we have ready are Titanic, which is just a good physical shield. A tier 5 shield. Uh, the reason why I took this is it's got temporal shield on it, which is pretty decent. It's an instant shield. And then it... Uh, well, I'll just read it. This intricate in spell... In instantly erects a time shield around the caster, preventing any incoming damage and sending it forward in time. Once either the maximum damage 438 is absorbed, or the time runs out 8 turns, eight turns, the stored damage will return as a temporal restoration field over 5 turns. Each turn the restoration field is active, you get healed for 10% of the absorbed damage. And yeah, it's based on your spell power. But then I also got the uh, temporal rift shield, which I think is what I'm going to use. Because it gives me spell power, slows projectiles, and reduces damage by a fixed amount. And then it also gives me uh, quite a bit of block. It's actually more... It's, its defenses aren't that great. Like armor, physical defenses. But its block amount is huge. 325, which is even more than the Titanic. I was wearing the Crystal Ast Crystal's Astral Binding earlier. But I think the Stormbringer's Gauntlets are better. It's got Critical Multiplier on it. And some magic, and then uh, it does have some resistances that I want. This has less offensive stats, but it also oh, man, this this probably is better. It gives me penetration to darkness and temporal, and damage to darkness and temporal. I think we probably should. I lose what ten spell power. Yeah, ten spell power, but and I lose a twenty percent critical strike or critical multiplier. Let's look what our critical multiplier is. I didn't check the rest of my loot either, but I doubt it was that good. Was Spellblade in there? No. Crown of Eternal Night. Damn it. Well, then I guess I can get rid of the bindings of Eternal Night. I was going to check what they did, the set, and see if it was uniquely good for a cultist of entropy, but... Oh, well. I made the decision for me. All right. What is our... Spell crit is still at rest a while spell crit is at 57 percent 
As it gets closer to 100, uh, Stormbringer's Gauntlets might be better. All right. I need to clear out some of this area real quick. Holy cow, that gets big. Is he already dead? Let's drag everyone in with our From Below It Devours. Shield up. Alright, now I need to be careful where I destroy these walls. I want to do it in one direction that way. If I have to run up that way, I can. And dodge around a corner. And like leaving these little things here will be good. So I have little ways to duck out of sight. Alright, let's do it again. Alright, this gives us a little corner too. This is going to be our... Our arena for him, I think. Right, what are you? I'm gonna get rid of your Hymn of Shadows. Because my thinking here is that he won't be able to... Ow. No, not ow, but drug me a long way. Um, that he won't be able to... Get away from me. Be able to completely encase me in ice if I have a large enough area. Let's go up here and reset the fight. I thought I I thought I couldn't leave yet, but whatever. Alright. No, you go back over here. Really hate Doombringers. Alright. And he's a berserker, so he's all in on two-handed. We need to be careful. How do I want to do this? Let's shield it and see how hard he hits me. About 300, but he didn't crit. Ha! God dang it, he pushed me back again. Um, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to suspend time and let the dots and my herald kill him. Oh my god, he did not die from that? Well, then let's have my big dude grab him back. There we go. There we go. Wow, that guy was scary. Got a tier 5 ring. I am going to see if I can make a... I did get the gem book for the Amulet of the Moon. I'm going to see if I can make a really good amulet. Probably with uh, Windborn Azurites. Nope, that's just a rotting mummy, so we're okay here. Alright, this is getting dangerous. I really wish I had track, but I just... A lot of my... A lot of my escorts, <laughs> as you can see, died. I could not save some of them. They were just right in terrible spots. Uh, I had one in Old Forest that it's possible I could have saved him, but there were so many Rand bosses, I just, it was not going to happen. Alright, that is a Paradox Mage. Get rid of his nothing. He has nothing. This uh, rune of dissipation only gets rid of sustains. It doesn't get rid of magical effects like I think uh, the old gloves of dispersion used to. All right, we got a Rand boss here, and he is a summoner. And then we got a arcane power corruptor, I think, over there. So let's step back. Nope, he is running through the walls. Awesome. Put this right in front of him so we don't get soul rotted out of nowhere. And then remove his sustains. Shield up. There we go. Who hit him for 1300? Ah, he did. He's trying to steal my thunder. You know what? Let's, uh... 
I'm gonna prophecy them, see if they'll fight each other. Oh yeah, another cool thing about this, about Adept. I'll show you after this fight. Um, prophecies, if I get twofold curse up another level, it says I can apply the curses at level eight, which is what this is at now. So this effective talent level went up to eight and now my twofold curse works at level eight as well. I actually should probably put some points in here, but I need to get five out of five for twofold curse. Lost Archmage or Lost Staff of Archmage Terelion. Thunderfall, I think that's a decent um, on hit damage club mace. All right, where are we going here? All right, let's make a little spot right here. The funny thing is, I've never seen that ability before where he just throws a bunch of ice out. And if, if I have, I don't remember what it is. The only thing I can think of is the Wormix ice wall, but it doesn't it doesn't make a T-shape. It only You can do it in like a diagonal or a straight line, but not up and down at the same time. So I'm wondering if they gave him special abilities, which would be cool. Nope, stepping back. Don't let him shoot us. There's the exit. So does that mean the mummy will be here? I don't know. I don't think so. No, he's not here. Come on, I'm all prepared for this and I'm all hyped up. He has to be here somewhere. There's a bunch of doors we need to open now that don't actually go anywhere. Just leave it up to auto explore. Is that him? Nope, just a mummy. I need to use the test dummy. This is a decent chance he'll be here. I need to use the test dummy to see how much damage my Entropic Gift does now. Could be here too. So I'm gonna use that and then run back. Oh, there's a stealth rogue over there. Oh, he could be here. Is that him? Nope, rotting mummy and ancient mummy. Could be down there. That looks like he could be there. I'm calling it. Alright, there's somebody in front of me. I can't see them though. Oh, god damn it. Thought I was uh, sped up, but I wasn't. Are you kidding me? There's something here too? Hold on. And that's the greater mummy lord. Son of a bitch. Alright, what is he? If you... Resize your chat wall. It's really hard to figure out what some of these are. Um, whatever. We're just going to have to wing it at 324 life. All right. How do I want to do this? First off, let's buy us some time via suspend, right? Yes. All right. And that also helped because he pushed us back. Then what I want to do is Temporal Reprieve, 
and then use my healing item. All right, now I can use my shield and at least I need to take one, two steps back and put this guy here. All right, now let me see you. To run back once again. He can teleport quite a ways. I think he's an arcane warrior. Is he still there? Yes, he is. Throw this guy up there. I don't have a void star. Awesome. See, there he did it again. I really want to inspect him. I want to know what that is. Shadow combat, I do need to get away from him. Shoot, he's somewhere around here. I heard him teleport. There he goes again. All right. So, let's teleport ourselves up this way. Shield, heal. Got a 44 turn disease on us. Just let me see you, you dick. Alright, we've got 184 entropy. Not a lot, but we'll use it anyway. Yes, got him. That's way too hard for a for an optional boss. Well, I guess optional bosses should be harder. Just wish I could have inspected him. I want to know what that move is. Alright, we need to get rid of that disease. Dragon Helm, Dragon Skull Helm. I know what the Dragon Helm of Skrulltar is, or Krulltar, but I don't know what the other Dragon Skull Helm is. Ooh, I hope it's, hope it's something new. Let's look. Can't wait. Um, no. Is it? I remember a telepathy dragon skull. Basically it gives 15% resistances to a bunch of resistances, 20 armor, some spell save, and then grants telepathy dragon. Ruined skull. Actually, this is good. Um, it gives me spell power just by carrying it. We'll go over those more later. Alright, we can finally uh, auto-explore without fearing death. What are you? Ancient Elven Mummy, 5,000 life. He is not wanting to go down. He's got a lot of health. There we go. Move his sustains. And have our Herald kill him. Lots of doors to nowhere. Alright, run back. Put that there. He's probably going to teleport to us. Nope, he didn't. Good. Seems to be their MMO, MMO, <laughs> MMO. <laughs> Seems to be their MMO, MMO to uh, teleport past my roadblocks. The Doombringers. Well, I don't know how. I guess yeah, I do. They have. They should have a fear shape, fearscape shift, or something like that. It's what the planar beacon gives you. The light, the tool, or no, it's a light. Go three back. There we go. All 
All right, that's everything. Cool. We got through it without dying. Let's check in here. No, Vor I need a Vortune amulet. Actually, no, I don't, because I think you can use just a regular tier five amulet now for crafting. Um, no. That's not going to be as good. Although, talent on hit spell mana thrust at level 5. That would be nice, but no. Lost Staff of Archmage Torellion. Silence immunity, 40%. 40 spell power, 25% uh, crit chance, and then 30% to the Archmage tools, or Archmage elements. Thunderfall, look at this. Damage radius on hit, 50 lightning, 50 physical. Damage radius on crit, 100 lightning and 100 physical. That would be awesome. Uh, you know what? Let's save it. Why not? Because I think it's just a one-handed mace. With a 50-70 base damage, it's pretty good. None of these are any good for us, it looks like. It's unfortunate. Oh, here we go. Let's check this out. Nope. 92 life, negative life, blight resist, blight resist penetration. But other than that, no. It's got a decent charged uh, gale force, 625 damage. All right, now, I didn't do the merchants, so we can redo the merchants uh, so you, we can do it on screen. Don't know which one. I think I need to do my lantern. I did just get a recent upgrade to it, but it was I've had a bright brass lantern of health until I got here. Um, Alchemist's health. I oh, don't know. That's right. It was just my... <laughs> it gives 20% darkness resistance penetration and 27% darkness damage, so now we, we can't really get rid of that. Let's do the hat, because all this gives us is 120 life, which, while nice... Um, we're, we're past the point of just getting an item for health. We need something else. Let's go Elven Silk Wizard Hat. Don't look at it. You jinx it. All right, what do we got here? 20 will. Will really does very little for us because we don't use mana. 10 cunning. A decent smattering of tiny resistances. Nope, this is not for us. This is crap. Let's try again. Ten magic, seven cunning. Ooh, wow, a lot of resistance is kind of all grouped up with physical and... Oh, yep, we're keeping this. Look at this. 20% physical resistance, 12% lightning resistance, 48% darkness, and 6% cold. Resistance penetration, 15 lightning, doesn't really do anything for us, but changes damage, 14% physical, 39% darkness, and 21% cold. So um, it doesn't give us any spell power, though, but it's a the magic will, but it doesn't give us any straight spell power. But it is definitely better than ours, and we can move on to something else. Man, I'm really curious. Now nah, the 30 spell power, I am going to stick with the necklace. This cloak we could probably do better. It's got 9% darkness penetration and 16% darkness damage. Here we go, the belt. It's only got 90 life on it. And 11 armor, but that's it. Drake skin leather belt. Let's do something, or let's get something good. <laughs> Alright, it is going to be better than ours, but ours was not very good. Let's see, 4 magic, 15 constitution, 10 cunning, and 70 life. Gives us infravision radius. That's not terrible, I guess. See how much our life goes up. Wait, what is the armor on this? No armor, so it's not that much better. 1288, so we got about 40 more hit points. We can do another belt, because that wasn't good enough. This one's not going to be good either. It is... 24% fire resistance, 9% acid resistance, and 13% cold resistance. Ugh, i got the crappy trap disarming and stealth bonuses. It's got 16 dexterity, 17 cunning, and 30 luck. What's ours do? Nope. Ours is better. Alright, how much money do we have? We have enough for one more. We'll, we'll get more money later, but... Ah, 
this this robe is just perfectly tailored for my guy. It's not a lot of big increases, but there's so many decently decent ones that adds up to something that's going to be hard to beat. So 40% damage on my staff and it only gives me 19 spell power, but it also gives me 12 magic. So it's another 12. It's actually given me 31, I think, spell power. Probably should get different gloves. Yeah, let's just do gloves. Wait, hold on. What was my tool? Here we go. We need to do the tool. Spell power on critical is all this really gives me. Plus, it's, it's actives, but I don't really care about that. We want to go pickaxe. All right, gives us perfect strike, crap. 90 life, some saves, 14 strength, armor penetration. It's a, uh, it's a melee dudes one. I don't know if they changed how the merchant rolls these anymore. It used to be the pickaxe was the only one you could really get decent stats on, but I'm thinking they switched it up so wands now are more likely to roll caster stats, but I don't, I don't know that. I'm just guessing. All right. Elixir of Mastery is where we need to go now. I do have the Worm Bile already. And I do have... Oh, I never did the Golem Graveyard. Let's do that. And I have opened the portal and everything. So we're ready to go kill some Orcs once I get done over here. So, uh, he doesn't have any sustains that I can remove let's look at our darkness damage now it is up to 149% that is awesome this is automaton by the way and no we are not going to enter his eye for some reason we have it already oh I also um, I started killing the room of death I got one dragon killed and then I stopped because I realized that's probably something I should do on screen it actually wasn't that difficult all right these worm that walks when they're a serpent of someone they're not nearly as dangerous He can resurrect it immediately the first time you kill it, though. All right, anything. Doesn't look like it now. I didn't expect it, though. This is a low-level zone. I do have a Lucid Dreamer item, so I don't need to keep that one. Lucid Dreamer item lets you operate even though you're asleep, which if you run into some someone that can sleep you later on a solipsis, they're really annoying to fight. Like a dreaming horror. Let's get rid of this perfect strike so I don't ever actually accidentally use it. Alright, is that everybody? Yes, it is. We did not get any special item because we didn't get anyone you have to help someone create three of the potions to get their special item all right oh wow we went up to 72 constitution can definitely get the last point in thick skin now where do we want to put the rest of our points here i think i'm gonna go hmm i should probably get this back up to three or if it goes up to four percent so that's what we're gonna do now let's see how much crit shrug i can get 2% versus how much life? 28. So I'm going to go for crit shrug because I really don't want to be crit out of nowhere. And then that'll also let me finish off light armor training. All right. We are at 34 minutes already somehow. I am going to stop now. I don't think we're going to do Caldera just because it's annoying. You have to play as a mouse and it's just really... It takes a while to beat. You have to get lucky sometimes. Or you have to not get unlucky. 
But uh, yeah, we will go ahead and... Uh, why not? We'll do the Scourged Pits, or I will try. It, it can be difficult, so we'll try that next time. So if you see what, anything you like, leave a like, comment below, and then subscribe. And that's my mama. Take it easy.